Hey Aries, welcome to your reading guys. We are doing a no contact reading. Yeah, you've been blocked. The person just disappeared. They didn't give you an explanation or the explanation they gave you was lame and you feel like it just was not authentic and truthful. Ooh, guys, we're not doing an in-depth tarot reading because y'all know, y'all know me. I don't feel like you should be focusing in on people that exit your bubble and run from you. Mm -hmm. But I do understand sometimes we need a little bit more so that we can move on ourselves. We're going to get messages from them. I'm using the ghosted deck, both sides of it. This is my RZ Oracle's ghosted deck. We'll get explanation here and a confession here. Then I'm going to let them talk and then we'll get advice. No in-depth lingering on connections that's not meant for you let's jump in let's see whose energy is coming in the strongest for my aries this week y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about the person and the connection if it doesn't happen with this reading you can check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. Check that one out. See if I picked up the energy. Ooh. Guys, like I said, this should not be telling you things that you did not already suspect and intuitively know. Yes. It should tell you the things you already know. Let's jump in. Let's see whose energy is coming in the strongest for my Aries. Strongest for my Aries. Aries person, bring it out for us. Pop. First one. It began to feel like a chore. I couldn't remember why I'd been interested in our connection to begin with. They're insinuating it was too much. Staying in touch with you. Talking to you. All that stuff was too much. Let's see why they haven't contacted you or reached out. Oh, guys, we're going to get to the decks trying to get, get away from me here. Let's find out. Why haven't they contacted you? I'm sorry. But I wasn't that into you. And I just didn't know how to tell you. And then what else? I was keeping our relationship a secret. I was talking to and juggling other potential partners. Mm -hmm. Hold the energy on the deck. Aries, wow. Let's get the confession. Let's get a present moment confession from this person. What do they want to confess to us? This is for my Aries. Set the energy on the deck for me. It feels cold. One more shuffle. Can we get a confession from them? Anything they want to bring out. Talk to us, Aries person. Pop. Confession. Too serious? Too soon. Mm. Things were moving too fast for them, or they felt like you were wanting to get serious too soon. Let's get on talking. We're using all things intuitive deck. This is in the shadows. It's for my Aries person. It's for my Aries person. Aries, Aries, Aries. Okay. Let's do it. Talk to us. Bring it out. I was careless with you. What else? Mm. You didn't imagine it. Anything? Mm-hmm. I hope you're happy. Keep talking. Mm. I know you're watching me. Ooh, or they feel like it anyway. Is that them being paranoid, guys? Or you'd be like, I ain't watching your dumb book. Yes, it's too late. Mm. And I focused on you instead of my pain. Focused on you instead of my pain. There's something else. Two more. I've been here before with others. They're telling you they have a pattern of this. What did you want from me? Mm. Hold the energy on the deck. 
Let's switch off decks. We're using uh, Victoria's Love Oracles, but we are using the shadow side of the deck. It's the small one, guys. Hopefully, these cards will focus for us. They're hard to see for some reason in the camera. Aries person. Ooh, pop. Before I even set the energy, you found out something about me. Ooh, for somebody, that's a question. <laughs> that is a question. Did you find out something about me? Ooh, what else? Talk to us. Talk to me. Pop. Love doesn't feel like enough. Mm -hmm. I need to feel in control. Anything else? Anything? Yep. I've been having regrets. Mm. Okay. What else? That one does not want to let go of me. You hurt my feelings. What did you do? He's <laughs> there. Two guys. I heard something about you. Oh, anything else with this deck? Talk to us. Yeah, there's a, two more. I am emotionally unavailable. Mm -hmm. And I am so jealous. Jealous. Hold the energy on the deck. Guys. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's tap into your higher self, your spirit guides, and your guardians. We're going to use the Cosmic Journey Oracle. These are short, sweet readings because, like I said, Aries, I don't believe we should dwell on things with somebody that runs from us and things that weren't meant to be. But sometimes we do need that closure. Let's get your higher self, your spirit guides, and your guardians to give you some, some advice right now for you personally when it comes to this person and the connection. This is for my Aries. My Aries. Pop. Your lighthouse guides you home to the stars. Mm -hmm. Follow your own inner light. You already know. You already know with this one. Mm -hmm. What else is coming out? Thus one journeys to the stars. Thus one journeys to the stars. Oh, guys, I love it. Yep, it's time to let let go, guys, and quit play, playing it small because we got all the light guiding you home through the emotions of it. You already know. Feel those emotions and let them roll away from you because you're not playing small anymore. You're aiming bigger in your life. Yes. Our next deck, guys, we are going to use Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine Speaker is one, but it's the higher perspective. This deck is asking us to put aside any resentment, any hurt, hurt any anger. Because we're going to ask your higher self and their higher self to talk in unison about the wisdom you have gained, the higher perspective. Mm -hmm. What is something in likeness, but it requires you to let go and see something about this person that you can identify with. About yourself, their self, their experience, their journey, and yours. We already got one standing up, guys. It was not my intentions to hurt you in any way. Triggering the wounds, even unintentionally, is part of this healing journey. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? What else? Anything else? Anything else y'all need to look at? Or you need to look at? Yes. I am fine by myself, but we are better together. Hmm? I honor our time together and release you to your highest and best. In, the, in so doing, I release myself as well. Hmm. This one bothers me a little bit, guys, because did we not get, I have regret. Mm -hmm. I've been having regrets. This card, be weary, Aries, because this person might come back around. Know yourself and be clear about yourself. Let the emotions roll away because when they come back around, it's going to trigger it for you again. Next one. This is a flame that will always be present. 
What to do about it is the only question. Yeah. Yeah. Aries. Mm. Can I speak? Use caution. Get clear about yourself. Don't play small anymore. Aim for the stars is what your guides are telling you. Because this person, just the fact, I'm picking up key things coming out here. Uh, they're coming back around. They're going to reach back out to you. Something. Know where you stand on that and whether or not you want to open that door when they come knocking. Yes, Aries. Guys, I hope that was helpful for you. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.